Hello and welcome to the Second Time Briefing. I'm Tiki with the five socio-economic events for this week. Vietnam approves club minimum tax, 390 million US dollars, proposed for growth upgrades in Mekong Delta. January to November public investment disbursements missed only 35% of years ago. Amanda's real estate trading law expands rights for overseas Vietnamese. November sets new record for international tourist arrivals in Vietnam. Vietnam will impress a club of minimum tax from January 1, 2024, as over 93.5% of deputies present at the Sixth National Assembly sitting voted in favor on November 29, the final day of the National Assembly meeting. The club of minimum tax is an international effort to combat the common practice of multinational corporations, shifting their profits to countries and territories with lower tax rates for tax evasion. Under this policy, a tax rate of 15% will be applied to multinational enterprises with a combined annual revenue of 700. 50 million euros, roughly equivalent to 800 million US dollars. This application of this task is budgeted to result in an additional 14.6 trillion Vietnam dollars in budget revenue for Vietnam next year. Given that the rate impacts of the club of minimum tax on foreign invested enterprises, some National Assembly deputies recommended that the government devise appropriate investment incentives and clarify tax incentive policies for newcomers to Vietnam. The Ministry of Transport has proposed a 390.7 million US dollars budget for the upgrades of three national highways in the Mekong Delta. The ministry is seeking approval from the government for the traffic infrastructure upgrade projects, which include National Highway 53, City 2, and 91B. One of the key projects is the renovation of 39 km section of National Highway City 2 in Long An Province, which will connect the Ho Chi Minh City to Lung Expressway. For National Highway 53, a 41 km section from Long Ho to Ba Si, covering Vinh Long and Javan provinces, will be upgraded. The ministry has proposed renovating 141 km of National Highway 91B, passing through Cần Thơ, Hậu Giang, Sóc Trăng, and Bạc Liêu provinces. The estimated cost of the project is over 390.7 million US dollars, with the World Bank loss accounted for more than 233.2 million US dollars. Public investment capital disbursement held total 431 trillion Vietnam dollars in the year to date, representing 35.1% of the targets assigned by the Prime Minister. This amount is 6.77% or 122.6 trillion Vietnam dollars higher than the same period last year. The public investment capital disbursement target set by the Prime Minister is 708 trillion Vietnam dollars, meaning that 247 trillion Vietnam dollars, or about 35% of the total, must be disbursed to meet the full year goal. However, it's impossible to realize such high disbursement rates in the rest of the year. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính said at a conference that there is a lack of focus and centralization in planning, and frequent project adjustments remain common, leading to delays in capital disbursement. He criticized the ministry, agencies, and localities with low capital disbursement rates, saying they would have to conduct a thorough review, clarify reasons, identify collectives and individual responsibilities, so thus measures can be taken to improve the disbursement of public investment capital. The National Assembly has passed amendments to the real estate trading law, granting more rights for overseas Vietnamese in real estate businesses. New provisions broaden the form and scope of real estate trading that can be undertaken by overseas Vietnamese. Overseas Vietnamese holding Vietnamese citizenship and have permission to enter Vietnam will be able to engage in real estate transactions on an equal footing with Vietnamese citizenship. With 435 deputies voting in favor, accounting for 94.13% of the total, the amended law will take effect from January 1, 2025. Vietnam has extracted 1.23 million foreign tourists this month, up by 11% against the previous month. This is the highest monthly number of foreign tourist arrival this year. According to data from the Vietnam National Authority of Tourism, 
a total of 11.2 million international tourists have visited Vietnam so far this year, surpassing the four-year target by a remarkable 40%. South Korea has remained Vietnam's largest tourist-generating market, with 3.2 million Koreans coming in the January to November period. China follows with 1.5 million tourists and Taiwan with 758,000 visitors. Notably, European tourist arrivals have soared by a staggering 58.5% this month, the highest growth rate amongst continents. This rise is attributed to Vietnam's unilateral visa waiver, allowing visitors to stay visa-free for up to 45 days. And that's all from now. Thank you and see you next week.